Hello, welcome back to my channel. So this should be episode 3 and this should be day 2 in the game. You wake on day 2 and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they... Were they memories or... Pre-emotions? Pre-emotions. Okay, I think they're like dreams of the future. And then, premonitions, yes. And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You met up with your bestie in front of the church. Before you can tell her about the encounter with Spork Monster, she launches into a story of her own. Miriam. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might, um... I think I might like Pop. Pop the little boy? <laughs> okay, Pop. Like him, like, like? <laughs> like him, like, like? Miriam. I know, it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him, like, like him. We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Oh really? Anything interesting? Did you know that Colonel Sanders enlisted in the army when he was only three? Is that possible? Not only that, but he founded a special unit of super soldiers who all wear the same hats just because he put a hat on one time and thought it looked cool. I think you've been fed some lies here. But Colonel Sanders doesn't even wear a hat, he wears a ribbon tie. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. Miriam. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, or you're just a thing now? You're a thing now. We're definitely connected yesterday. Miriam, uh, sure you did, you great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. So my bestie is not believing me. Okay, well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Don't tell her the secret. Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that a secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Mm. Ah. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached, a lovely man approached me in the hot botanical garden where I was wondering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices, secret spices. Oh, yeah, um, did she tell me about a secret or I was, was going to tell her about the secret I know? Uh, let's just follow this along. Miriam. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals and that if I did him a favor, I could have some of my own. Okay. Gazillion. That's me. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. 
room. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. Well, what was the favor? Miriam, he was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling overcame me, and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Miriam, whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we started stayed in touch you know like pen pals i bet you would love to know more about how spices i'm sure you'd love to know more about new spices what's that look on her face well i'm definitely not supposed to share colonel Sanders secret recipe and besides i only know the one ingredient so i doubt it'd be much use to anyone oh tears and eyes william please 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 it would mean the world to me no one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. I ain't telling her. I ain't telling her. Nothing is a secret. I'm not stealing Colonel Sanders' recipe. So, tell her the ingredient Colonel Sanders told you. Make up a fake ingredient. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? He told me a secret in confidence. I'm not going to tell her. Uh, make up a fake ingredient. You quickly think of a fake in ingredient name. I don't know. How about... Cassilia. It was the Eye of Newt. I know. Sounds like some kind of witch's potion. But what can you do? Miriam. Eye of Newt? Wow. Her eyes light up. Imagine such a thing. And you figure that you have satisfied her curiosity. And she will move on. However, she immediately turns around and go, does, does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. She's telling you a secret straight away. Before you can eat even, before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. The wind rushes in. I see cherry blossoms. Cherry blossom petals fall in the air. Oh, he's on horseback. Very romantic. It's Colonel Sanders. He's driving at school. Does he do this every morning? Stay back and admire his majestic glory. Run to him. Uh, I think we should run to him. Probably dangerous with the horse, but you know, I'm just going to go with it. You decide the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are would be to run to him. Surely he will swipe. Surely he will sweep you up into the back of his stallion, and you will ride away together. That'll be. That'll show her. <laughs> Good. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel. <laughs> However, your sudden movement surprised the horse, and it rears up. Tack. Kicking you directly in the face. The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. In the darkness, not one of these promations, premations, I don't know what it is. Seeing the future, you see a vision. The ghost of student. Ooh, Cassilian, I'm here to deliver your message. Not this guy. Ghost of student. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the world could end so you know it's serious. Ghost of Student. I've been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. On you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. Don't know his name. And that name is... But before you can continue, you suddenly awaken. Ghost of Student. Awaja! What's his name? Awaja? Oh, jeez. Okay. You awaken to find Colonel Standers tending to you. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural seasoned musk? Mm. Complicate the craftsman of his horsemen. What? 
the complaint, complaint, compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. Lean in, focus. Come on, gonna have to go focus. Wow, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. You known him for a day, and are you really sure? I guess you must be. You put your arms around Colonel Sanders' neck and pull him in for a kiss. Or he turns his face and you awkwardly kiss his ear. You can feel him shudder. Or he did not like that. Too soon you clearly mistook his compassion for love. Your soul crawls inside of itself and you instantly die of embarrassment. Oh. Try again? Mm. Yeah, game over I think. I'll give up. What? <laughs> Did I lose? That was a... That was end game. Jeez. Wow. Okay. No, we're going that far. So you can lose at this game. Okay, let's try again. You awakened. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Okay. You're waking to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. Let's get this right. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural seasoned musk? Complement the craftsmanship of his horseshoes. Yes, do that one. Maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse to school. And maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who was in the wrong. Yeah. But one thing is for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. Gazillion, that horse has beautiful shoes. I could really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, look him. I think he liked that. Some hearts came out of his body. <laughs> That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. And with that, the Colonel Sanders disappears into the sky. Into the sky? Into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashleen and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, you're... Hunting? Hunting. By the way, you're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad, experimenting on restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad? Oh yeah, did I summon a demon? No, he just come by himself. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder, but he sees you coming. Van Van. Wow there little one, I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Okay. Tell them to stop acting immature. Act like you're not interested in them, but really try and get closer look. Why don't you make it like a bee and buzz mind your own beeswax, honey? Now let's try this one. So I went with the second option. Try to pretend like I'm ignoring them, but look over the shoulder. You sit near the rivals, but, I, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van mutter something that sounds like a magic spell. Well, she got a demonic look on her face. However, he notices you eavesdropping. You try and cover your tracks and improvise an excuse. Kazillion. Uh, it's time. Um, it's time for class. You're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Now you've upset them. Uh -huh. They're both very angry. Oh, Ashley. Oh, and you're the... Emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. I'm not sure you'd know a good meal if it ate you. Ashley, being the best chef in the world makes more. Being the best chef in the world makes more than just culinary skills. It takes credit. Being the best chef in the world takes more than culinary skills. It takes creativity. Creativity. It takes. It takes. Panache. Van Van. It doesn't hurt to use a little evil. 
Okay. You finally get a look at what it was they were hiding and you instantly recognize it. What is it? Oh, it's dark book. It's a book just like the one you found after you encounter with Spark Monster. No Necronomicon. Necronomicon. Gazillion. That's the same book that I found last night in the squad. Ashleen immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. Uh, Ashleen. I don't know what you're talking about. The book is a family heirloom and it contains and its contents are secret. You notice that they haven't just been studying the book. They got pop pinned to the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. This is weird. Uh, I think that he's getting bullied. Pop. We're playing. Hee 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 hee. Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Clank. Beep beep. Is this the beef grinder? Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. Well, it deserves him, right? Van Van, hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. He's getting angry. Biz the wop. <sighs> Ashleen, who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language, not even from a stand mixer. Womp womp. Van Van, no, you're a monster. No, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> and the robot's wearing, and now he's unhappy. Clank. We bust. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Ashling. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it might be over me. But I'm not interested in either of them. Asleen's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely you must know that this is a ruse, right? Colonel Sanders, gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena at least, or don't honestly. What do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. Well, that was a bit weird that you said that. I thought normally you would care. Ashleen, maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professional. No, he's a... Professor? But he's also a dog. Sprinkles. Students, students, please take your seats. Sprinkles. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town. And my tiny legs are very, very tired. Sprinkles. But I'm here now. And I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his fairy dog belly. He loves it. Sprinkle stops his tracks and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in a trance. It's the secret. It's the scent left on you from Colonel Sanders. Sprinkle jumps on you and licks your face. Oh, Sanders. Down, boy. Down. Have a hollipo. I don't know what that means. That command, shouted by Colonel Sanders, has snapped Sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Sprinkles. Sorry, I got a little carried away. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Sprinkles. Without further ado, we review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. 
you want to pay attention to the lesson truly you do okay so this is another quiz which is why in 1776 at the signing of the declaration of independence it was a chicken who first signed their name but you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders and you miss most of the important parts when you come to Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you Sprinkles well Kazillion naturally this appears to to you to be a sample platter I guess some kind of test which item do you want to sample a glass of water a shimmering pepper a dog biscuit hmm shimmering pepper I think this this pepper is probably the best thing a brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items it sprinkles sparkles in a most eye-catching way so naturally you reach out and grab it and eat it right away However, your body is not prepared for the heat. The pepper has triggered an intense space. Spice oscillation. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. Well, I sure do a lot of tripping in this uh, game. It's the him again. My friend. Ooh. This guy again. Ghost of student. I'm here to give you an important message. Ooh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. All you must do is cough, cough. Ghost of Sudom. I was saying to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is cough. Sorry, I think I just got some spice stuck in my throat. It's fine. I will work through. Cough. To fulfill, cough. The prophecy, cough, cough. You must. You feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. Student, go student. Ah, man. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. I fainted again. Passed out. Sprinkles. That pepper was the last of its kind on earth. And now it's gone forever. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay it better attention. Miriam. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he will forgive you someday. Miriam, come on. It's time for lunch. <laughs>